Hello everyone, I'm Katie and I'm coming to you from the Fabric Workshop and Museum, which is at 1214 Arch Street, Center City, Philadelphia. We're an amazing place where you can see art, make art, and learn how to print. So today we're going to use things that you find in nature and in your own home to make art prints. But first, I wanted to show you some artists who were inspired by water and created fabric that has water designs on it. Hi, I'm, my name is Ash and I also work at the Fabric Workshop and Museum with Katie and I'm really excited to work with you on your rolling water prints and I hope that you're feeling ready to get started on your drawing portion. And so what I thought would be a lot of fun is if we could use our own memories and think back to a memory that had water in it. So maybe you visited the beach or maybe you went to a fountain or maybe you had a lot of fun in the, in the bathtub one day. And I would love to walk you through some portions of these memories and see if we can draw them and get them down on paper. And so the first thing I would love for you to think about with the water in your memory is the color of the water. And so I have a crayon here and I have lots of other colors of crayons. And maybe you have colored pencils or markers or paints. Um, but at first I'm just going to pick up blue because that's the color that I think of first with water. But then when I think about reflections in water and when I see the sunshine in water or if at night I see car lights or other lights reflected in it, they can be other colors that show up. So let's go ahead, make some drawings of some water, maybe some of the colors that you see in them. Maybe there's little car lights that show up. Or during the daytime, maybe that sunshine is really coming through and the reflections of the water. Great. So another thing I'd love to think about is movement of the water. So maybe you were at the beach and the waves were really slowly lapping at the sand. Or maybe you're watching a river and it was flowing really fast and it just rained. Um, so think about that. So is something happening really fast? And how can you draw that to make it look like it was fast? So you see how I'm moving my crayon really, really, really fast? And let's say it was like at the beach where it was nice and slow. So I'm starting to move my crayon a little slower, almost like the water. And even like the rain, maybe the rain is um, falling very slowly and it kind of looks like it's happening in slow motion. Wonderful. So the next thing I would love for you to think about is the sound of the water. So if it was moving really fast, maybe it's making a really swooshy sound. And if it was moving very slow, like with raindrops, maybe it's kind of making like a tap, 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 tap sound. And there are a bunch of different sounds that water can make. So I'm curious what sounds you're thinking of. And another thing to think about would be, how does it feel? How does the water feel on your skin? Does it feel cold? Does it feel warm? Um, does it feel nice, right? So thinking about that, how does it feel? And one last thing to think about is how does it make you feel inside with your emotions? So is, you know, maybe you're at the ocean and you've never gone swimming before. Maybe that may be a little bit scary at first. Or maybe you had a lot of fun when you were playing at the pool with your friends. So maybe I'm going to draw a scene when I went to the pool with some friends. And it reminds me of that feeling, that emotion of having a nice time. Maybe there was like a little ball that we were playing with. And I want to 
gonna draw. And these are some of the marks that I made. And so what you're gonna be doing next is we're gonna take a break. And what I'd love for you to do with permission of an adult is go around your house and if you're allowed, go outside and see if you can collect some objects with different types of textures. So things that are like soft, things that are hard, and of course think of your safety. But maybe you can find things like leaves or rocks, um, things like that. And I'm sure you'll be surprised by what you find. And take a short break, go find those things, come back, and then we're gonna have a look at those um, objects and talk about how they're gonna be translated as prints for your whirling water prints because we're gonna add paint to those objects and we're gonna actually print them right over your drawings to add some really lovely layers. So I'm excited to see what you do. And I have the drawings that Ash made earlier and I'm going to tape them down because when you print, it's always good to tape down your image so it doesn't move while you're trying to make your prints. And once I have my paper taped down, I can grab my, my um, cork that has a skewer in it. And this should be in your kit that you got from the Magic Gardens. If you didn't get a kit from the Magic Gardens, then you can make this yourself. But what I did is I drilled a hole, which you can ask an adult to do, and then I inserted a skewer that you use for like barbecuing, so you might have that in your house. And now what I'm going to do is take a piece of paper or a tray that has paint on it, and my skewer with the cork, and I'm going to roll it around in the paint until it's all covered. And then I'm going to think about what kind of water I want to create. And I think I want to create a river that is kind of winding around, and maybe it even has a waterfall. And I'm just going to start by moving my cork around. And it's kind of cool because it actually has like areas of white in it that look sort of like the bubbles and water. So it looks like I might need to put more paint on it. So I'm going to roll it around with more paint. And then I'm going to keep going. Now that we've finished rolling out our river, it's time to print with the things that we found in nature. Maybe you found flowers, or leaves, or rocks, or sticks, but all of these things will be really fun to print. Okay, now we're going to start the next step to the process. So all you do is you take something that you found that you want to print, and you can lay it down on your, your um, little plate or palette or whatever you're using with your paint. And you just paint right on top of the thing that you want to print. And you kind of have to do this gently because if it's something from nature, like I just made a leaf fall off, it's kind of fragile. So I painted it all. And now I'm going to lay it onto my print. And I forgot something kind of important, which is you need a piece of a scrap paper. And you're going to take your piece of scrap paper and lay it on top of what you want to print and then rub the back like this. And this is to make your print really show up. And then I lift up my scrap paper and I lift up my leaf. And look, I made a print of a tree right by my water. And I like to do this because now it almost feels like I'm creating a forest around the water that I created. Everyone, I hope that you enjoyed making all your prints out of the things that you found. So now that I have all my prints and my paper is pretty much dry, I'm going to think about my image a little bit more and try to think of a story to really bring my water print to life. So 
I think for this story, I want to think about who is using this water, like who is swimming in it, or drinking out of it, or wading in it. So I think the first thing I'd like to draw is some birds. Great! And this is my water story. I hope that you had a really fun time, and I hope that you come visit us at the Fabric Workshop and Museum, because we'd love to see you. Enjoy the rest of your summer.